for the next couple of minutes, we're just going to learn how to get started with Help Scout, how to log in, uh, what the different mailboxes mean, just give you a nice little overview of, of everything that uh, you need to get started in Help Scout. Just go to helpscout.net. You can Google Help Scout. Uh, it'll take you to this page where you'll want to go and log in. And you want to know that you're using your Outlook email. So if you have a coach address, your code address is the mailbox that you're going to have in Help Scout. But to log in, you want to use your Outlook email because if you happen to forget your password, Help Scout, it's going to send, a, send you an email to reset your password uh, to the email that you use to log in. Your coach email to log in, then reset your password is going to be locked in Help Scout, so that doesn't do you any good. So always make sure that you want to. Use that Outlook email to go ahead and log in. Once you, you're going to see the mailboxes that you have access to. If you're on the member support team, you'll probably have recruiting help and financial aid. Uh, you have access to video as well. Uh, if you are a recruiting coach, you're going to see your mailbox. as well as the mailboxes of other people on your team so you guys can help each other out when you are out of the office uh, long periods of time. Once you jump into mailbox, Let's use recruiting help as an example here. You're going to see a couple different folders up here. Uh, on a signed folder, if you are member support, uh, member services, and you are working out of a shared mailbox video and recruiting help, this on a signed box includes any emails that have not been basically come by somebody to work. These are in the inbox, and no one has a stake in these emails yet. Yet. The mine folder would be any that you have assigned to yourself. So let's say that we go in to this folder here. Uh, I'll go these buttons in a little bit, but you'll assign it to me. If you do that, that's going to go ahead and put that in your mine folder. So your mine folder, uh, that includes all of the emails that you have assigned to yourself to work. You're going to be the person responsible for those. Draft is obviously uh, just a draft of emails that have not been sent yet. Here are the emails that you can see who's called what. So these are no longer unassigned. These are assigned. And you see who they're assigned to. You can also, if you see a little uh, yellow sign there, you can see someone is actually working on that email, and you can see who is working on that email at that time. Close. This is going to be all of the emails that have already been worked. So in the past, it was kind of difficult to see your email. Uh, this is going to be a really easy way to go back and see anything that you've already sent. Uh, you've got your spam folder. With certain mailboxes, you'll have some folders. Uh, your direct manager will tell you what you need to know about those. But your mailbox is going to have uh, these features up here. So just so you know how to operate those. Now, if you are a recruiting coach and you have your own mailbox, You'll want in there. You'll see your unassigned is going to be your inbox. That's everything new coming to you that you haven't touched yet. You can have to assign things to yourself or working out of a mailbox by yourself. Your main folder is going to include any emails that are response to a chain of emails that you already have with someone. So when you send a reply, Help's going to automatically assign that conversation to you. So when a reply comes back into that thread, that's going to go into your mind folder. Again, you'll have your draft. Assign won't have anything in here. Uh, and you'll have your closed folder and your spam folder as well. Uh, that's the basics around um, going, in, going on in these boxes. Now, the other thing we'll go through in this module uh, are just the buttons up here when you do go to reply. So you open up an email. Uh, you'll see reply. This little arrow is just reply. Fly. Here you'll see notes. Okay, this you can add notes to anyone on your, your team or to manager take a look at. So let's say that we needed Joe to do this. It's kind of a sensitive thing. We can leave Joe a note. You know, can you look and add notes? And we'll see there's going to be a note here um, in the open up the email chain here. You'll see the email from the family, but you'll also see the internal notes that the family can't see as well, uh, where you can assign it to yourself or to someone else. 
uh, assigned to the people on your team uh, or to a manager. So, so keep in mind as well, and it's really important that you only assign to people um, in share boxes. So you'll do this with the financial aid box, the recruiting box, and the video box. Uh, you never want to assign to a recruiting coach with their own personal box. We'll go through and do that in a second. Status, this would just be a need to move something to close or you need to take something from your close folder and make it active again. You can do that. So tags, that's everything is going to automatically tag. Uh, there are workflows here for you. Um, basically, this is a manual workflow. If you're in financial aid, Joe will talk to you about these. Uh, you are in a uh, visual mailbox. The work there is what we call auto-close. So here this LinkedIn example is a perfect one that we would want to auto-close. We're not going to work that. There's no response for that. So all we do is run this auto-close manual tag, and it's going to send it to our close folder, uh, and it's also going to fill out the custom fields, which we'll talk about in a different module. Um, and then the other thing here that we go through, that last button at the top, those three little dots up there, what we do with these uh, is this move feature. So this is really important for any time that you are trying to change the mailbox that a conversation is in. So if I'm a recruiting coach and I'm trying to move something to recruit help, I'm not going to assign it to someone in recruiting help because that's actually going to stay in my mailbox uh, and just be into someone else who's never going to look there. So we want to move this conversation from Slade to, let's say, uh, the video. If, if it was uh, somebody trying to get their video information to us, we would move it to the video. Uh, if it's from, if it's a recruiting help inbox and we should go to um, a specific coach, we would move it to Coach Sue Weber box. So make sure that any time that this conversation needs to leave one mailbox and go to another that you're moving conversation is staying within a mailbox that is just assign it to somebody else. All right, so that completes our first module on Help Scout. Just getting you guys set up. Just tap, you're going to want to sign in with your Outlook account. Boxes that you have access to, you'll see those folders that you have access to. If you want to keep in that, keep a message in that mailbox, you'll assign it to somebody else to work. If it needs to go to a different mailbox, you're going to move that conversation.